Paid Life in Abundance uh, is a Christian community development organization mm-hmm. founded over 25 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and so we would say we would have we've had over 25 years of impact. Wow. In 17 countries and more. Wow. Uh, we have presence in 17 countries, but okay. we also have uh, outreach to other countries as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we basically partner with a local church All within right. a given community. Okay. And uh, what we want to do with the local church is to say you are the light of the community. Mm-hmm. Your parish is the community, not the four walls of the church. Mm-hmm. And hence, if the community is not... Um, getting impacted by yes. your presence yeah. then you know you're not worth the name a church mm. because if wow. you're a church yeah. you really should be impacting Impact. the community wow. that wow. you are serving in and so um in 2013 we started to expand that by allowing by creating this conference we actually borrowed it from one of our partners in the US yes. and started hosting it in Kenya mm-hmm. the global missions conference yeah. where we invite people playing the same sector Mm -hmm. other christian organizations churches and individuals uh, that are interested in holistic impact wow so that is not just about get saved go to heaven Mm -hmm. but are you hungry get fed are you sick you know get well yeah whatever Mm -hmm. it is so that we are addressing the real issues in a way that says you are to represent christ holistically awesome and so 10 years ago uh this will be our 11th 11th global missions conference like well said here uh, at the catholic university of east africa Mm -hmm. uh we will be you know starting from seventh morning Mm -hmm. to ninth evening so throughout the day uh, we'll be having the conference there Mm -hmm. uh we're having uh different sessions we're having plenary sessions Mm-hmm. Our key speaker being Dr. Kwame Rubadir. Wow. Um, yes, and, and of course the others that we have outlined are Dr. Florence Moindi, Dr. Hesbon Kange, who's our CEO. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will be having other speakers for the breakout sessions. So we are having plenary sessions right. every day. We are having breakout sessions every day. Mm-hmm. And we are having exhibitions. So, I mean, we're even inviting companies and organizations and business people to come exhibit because we are, we are targeting a thousand plus uh, delegates. So it's a big thing. Oh, wow. Yes, and we hope uh, to see people People there then mm-hmm. uh, I would say that our discussion during the conference will, is divided into six major tracks mm-hmm. the first is the holistic mission of the church yeah. the holistic health and wellness social engagement and uh, for impact mm-hmm. education for transformation and economic empowerment as mm-hmm. he has said we look we address issues holistically yes we believe that you could be poor spiritually mm-hmm. and you reach uh, you could be rich spiritually so yes. to say yes. but then yeah. but you're full of you're poor physically mm. yeah. it doesn't glorify god for that imbalance Absolutely. so yeah, yeah. so yeah. a life in abundance and even the the goal of this conference just to bring people together of different spaces christian professionals and students mm-hmm. so that we may get to recharge ourselves for the call for mission because wow. we realize we are the salt of the world yes. you are the bible some people will ever read yeah. and, and and it is in our mandate to get recharged together to get yoked together yeah. because our conference theme this year is yoked together for holistic oh, impact exactly. that yeah. is from first corinthians chapter 1 verses 10 ideally you uh, many a times we tend to think of big things yes but i would say impact is really the fast the small steps that you take in any mm-hmm. one wow. given instance mm-hmm. um and uh, perhaps even before my my colleague comes in i would say as you think about what is impact then you have to ask yourself how does one make that impact yes. mm-hmm. so that if you're thinking about oh grand corruption then you might be thinking oh i need to be president i need to be that mm-hmm. yeah but you can make impact where you are. Wow. Wow. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well said. Mm-hmm. And uh, would say that uh, impact is something, is a change that we are influencing in a, in a positive manner. Mm-hmm. Something that is good, but then we are taking an initiative to make it better. Yes. Something that is bad, we are mm-hmm. making an initiative to make it good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so impact happens in all spheres of life, as my colleague has said, mm-hmm. and more to us as Christians and what has been entitled to us. Wow. Yes. I like that. And let me ask, you know, we have different people listening to us today. We have young people we have the older people we have the middle and maybe they're wondering maybe the young people are thinking hey do I really have what it takes to, to make, make impact? impact? Yeah. What's the way things are going with the economy, the mm. country is going, the way right. it's going so can a young person be of impact in this generation? 
Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I, I would say impact happens at perhaps three levels. Okay. Um, and one of those is just by being, by living an authentic life. Wow. All right. Um, the second level of that is uh, taking an interest in other people so that you take a genuine interest in other people and the people around you. Yes. And as you take that interest, you get to notice things that you could be helpful in terms of their lives are, are, con- are concerned. Yes. Mm-hmm. But the third level is what I would call a spirit-led intervention. Wow. This is where you're going on about your life and you notice something and the spirit impresses upon you yes. uh, to take some kind of action. 6.9 FM, Pearl Radio.